Shiny hunting in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is easier than it has ever been by far. This is easier than Legends Arceus. This is easier than chain fishing X and Y going back to that. This is the easiest shiny hunting has ever been by far. And I'm going to tell you how to do it. So it does involve mass outbreaks similarly to Pokemon Legends Arceus, but it also involves a new mechanic, which is sandwiches. A big focus in Scarlet and Violet is crafting sandwiches using actual ingredients and building a little sandwich yourself and eating it to get special effects. These special effects can range from increased uh, experience for a certain type or or increased eggs found during your picnics but the one we're specifically interested in is the sparkling power sparkling power is something that increases the chance at which a shiny pokemon spawns we don't know the exact stat i am recording this pre-release but i'm sure that information will come out but it 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 significantly increases how likely a shiny is to spawn we also don't know how long the effect actually lasts in my experience i've been able to sh find a shiny with this method within 15 to 30 minutes without fail very consistently so here's what you need to do the first thing is just uh, beat the game so you can have five star raids i believe if you don't beat the game you can do five star raids with friends and maybe they can carry you through them but basically do five star raids or above and that's how you get the Herba Mystica ingredients. These are obviously the things Arvin uses throughout the story, but this is how you get these for your own sandwiches. And they are rare drops. It, it is, you know, it's not a set thing. You do need to do these raids. So if you don't like raids, that, you know, that that is unfortunate. But doing five-star raids or six-star raids, or I believe they're doing seven-star raids as events, um, you can get these Herba Mystica ingredients. Now, there are different, uh, several different types. There's salty types. There's sweet. There's there's bitter, there's uh, spicy, there's plenty of types of Herba Mystica. Now, a user by the name of the Time is Nigh on, on uh, GBA Temp actually figured out the easiest recipe for each of these for each type. So you can only get a sparkling power for one type at a time. So, for example, and I'll have it up on screen here, um, for normal type, you would use one chorizo and then two salty Herba Mysticas. You could also do, for poison type, a, a pack of noodles and then two more salty Herba Mystica. Basically, the ingredient recipe, and you can just kind of mess around with it on your own. You can freeform make sandwiches. Literally, just one regular item, doesn't matter what it is, in my experience, and then two Herba Mysticas. It can be two different types. I did um, some potato salad and then a bitter Herba Mystica and I believe a a sweet one and it gave me the bug, um, the bug sparkling power level three. Level three basically just means it's going to increase that likelihood even more um, and that applies to all of the special effects. So here is my method for doing this right now. Do some five star raids and get the Herba Mysticas. Then I want you to, and this is what I've done, I've turned off auto save while doing this. Um, save right now, like before you make the sandwich, eat the sandwich, and then go find a mass outbreak for the type that you created. Um, now, obviously, this is dependent on what mass outbreaks appear. If you can't find a mass outbreak that fits the type that you're trying to do, you can just do, you know, just go to an area that has a psychic type Pokemon, for example, like a Gardevoir or something, um, and try to do that. But I think the best method is going to be seeing what mass outbreaks you have available and just making a sandwich based on that type and trying to hunt that Pokemon rather than try to reset your mass outbreaks. I'm not sure exactly how you do that. I don't know if changing the clock works or what. I'm sure that information is out there um, or will be out there on release day when this goes up. But do that. Turn off auto saves, all that. Then um, go to the mass outbreak, assuming you're doing that method. And what you want to do is literally just run around back and forth, despawning the Pokemon and spawning them back in. Pokemon despawn very quickly in this game. Like, I'm talking you can get 20 feet away and they will all disappear. Just run back, check if it's a shiny, and then run, leave again, and just keep doing that over and over. That's how I got the shiny fortress in about 15 minutes um, using a, a bug sparkling power. Now, if you want, you can battle them. You can um, or you can do the auto battle. You can actually battle them. That's up to you. The easiest method, though, for sure, is to just run around despawning them and respawning them. Um... Now, a couple other things to note about shiny Pokemon in this game. Uh, one, I, I've, I've done a video on multiplayer. You can do this online. This all works online. You can do this with your friends if you want. You, um, although the effects obviously only apply to you. 
just like in Legends Arceus, you can save in front of a shiny Pokemon, turn off the game and reload it, and the shiny Pokemon will still be there. But be careful because if a shiny does spawn and then you run away to despawn it because you're still in the zone, um, that shiny Pokemon will despawn. So be careful of that um, and just make sure you're, you're staying alert. Now, shiny hunting is a little weird in this game because they don't sparkle, they don't make a noise. You just have to know that that Pokemon doesn't look right. So some Pokemon that have, you know, pretty similarly colored uh, shiny, you know, color swaps, it's going to be harder to tell. Um, an example of the shiny fortress, I mean, that's pretty obvious. I was like, oh, it's it's, it's golden. Um, so just be wary of that. But that is the easiest way I think I've ever seen in a Pokemon game to get a shiny. Do some five-star raids, grind them out with your friends, get all these Urban Mysticas, and then, I mean, you can be getting probably two to four shinies an hour. Like, it's, it's very quick using this method. There's still a lot of testing to be done, certainly in terms of how long these effects actually last. Can you stack them with eggs? And that's more important to me, can you actually stack these with eggs? At the time of recording, I do not know the answer to that. Um, that, that information might come out. Um, I would imagine it probably does, and the shiny in an egg is determined you know, when the egg is, is spawned in. So if that's the case, if you can stack the, the let's say, ice uh, sparkling power with the egg spawning power, I mean... That's going to be great for breeding for shinies as well. So um, all around, while I was a little bit hesitant when the breeding and all this, I, I do think these are really cool changes for shiny hunters. It makes max raids even more fun to do, or terror raids, I should say. Um, it makes it makes it worth grinding those outside of just getting, you know, getting XP candies and all that. So um, yeah, let me know if this method helps you. Let me know if you find any good shinies using this method. And um, if there's any more developments made, I'm sure there will be. I'll do another video talking about those. But as of right now, pre-release, this is what I've discovered, thanks to this user on GBA temp, as the best way to hunt for shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, before they do any crazy patches and change it or whatever. So if this helped you, please subscribe and like the video. It would really help me out. Subscribe, of course, for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos and tutorials and live streams. I'm probably live streaming when this gets posted. So keep that in mind. And uh, until next time, folks, peace.